Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ, Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of End Times Headlines. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is not new news to anybody. We foretold this on this channel. We didn't prophesy about it or anything. We just saw the um, the red flags. We saw all the all the issues around this topic. And um, it could have been prophecy. The Lord could have been using me to, to prophesy about something. I don't consider myself a prophet. The gift of prophecy um, I may have and I may not. I'm not sure. I've actually never asked the Lord for that. So maybe I should ask for that. Uh, but that's a whole different topic. What I'm saying is I'm not claiming to, to have some wisdom or knowledge. What I'm saying is I've seen scripture reveal this in a way that the Holy Spirit has led me to, to look at these things and say, hey, these are ways that this beast system is going to come to pass. And here we are again with this very thing called a G uh, George Victor Papa Papa. I'm going to say it that way because I cannot say this, um, uh, word for word or my, my, I will, I'll obviously get a strike. So anyways, let's look out. Let's look, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Um, G20 leaders have just agreed to a global Victor Papa Papa system. Now, um, I'm going to be speaking in code here. If you I haven't done this in a while, cause I haven't covered this topic in a while. Cause I, it's kind of laid low. But I just, I knew this was going to come back. And uh, and we just talked about this with Klaus Schwab. Uh, shout outs to a a, um, uh, a brother or sister in Christ. I don't know if that's a brother or a sister. But uh, this person, I'm not going to mention their, their handle because I don't have permission to mention their handle. But they commented. And when they commented, they said, hey, brother, um, on my last video about the great, uh, great things that don't like to be reset, right? When I had it in my title... I got a Wikipedia article uh, labeled to that. And so I didn't even read the Wikipedia article. I just knew that it probably said it's probably some conspir conspiracy things that are not of theories um, and uh, and something calling me some probably right, right, uh, not the left, but the right. And I have multiple wings, okay? Um, and some other that and probably some crazy Christian fanatic or whatever, right? Uh, so I ended up changing the title. And when I changed the title, um, uh, this brother or sister in Christ let me know that uh, the, the Wikipedia article was gone. And so shout out to that person. You are amazing. May the Lord continue to bless you. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for looking out for me and the channel. I truly appreciate that uh, because we have to be with these articles as peaceful as does, but as sly as serpents, right? We have to, our stealth as serpents. We have to be able to, we like not weasel our way. That's not a good way. So we have to be able to move through the this worldly system in a way where we we're not showing ourselves right but we are but we are speaking in a code that's why i do it this way because every time i've tried to cover these articles or said stuff in my my um titles i've gotten a strike um i've had two and so not back to back but two that have been three months apart and so uh i gotta be careful so anyway shout outs to you you know who you are thank you so much um i really appreciate you and you're such a blessing so okay anyways let's go um, it says here that uh, the leaders of the world's largest economies at the G20 meeting held in Bali, Indi Indonesia this week did much more than discuss current economic troubles. They also drafted and signed a declaration in which 20 countries, 20 countries agreed to adopt a Victor Papa Papa, which uh, with the purported goal to promote global travel and tourism. Now, let's just pause for a second. It's meant for global travel and tourism. So, OK, maybe this doesn't work if you are um, if you're not looking to travel. Right. And maybe that's just, hey, going to other locations and everything, going to uh, different nations. OK, uh, but this is one of those things where I say all the time, it's not going to stop there. It, it gets implemented here with some surface level thing. And really, it's meant to, to do all these other things that we've been talking about, like uh, watch your every move. Make sure you can't go outside your jurisdiction. You can't go outside your house. You can't go outside your neighborhood. There's green zones. Um, what is it? Uh, you're going to only you, if you're not this, then you have to, you can only move to these locations on these, this day, this day, and this day, and these other days, you may have to have armed guards around you. You may, you may lose out on, uh, certain credit cards, certain stores you could shop, certain things you could buy, certain cars you could buy. You'll be the last in line for all of those, because this is built around worship. This is built around manipulation. This is built around enslavement. Okay. This is built, built around, uh, limiting your, your, your moving, your, your ability to, to move and to, and to do the things you need to do to, to be free. America's too free. You've said it so many times. You've heard it here first a billion times. America is too free in a beast system. And so they have to make it work. They have to, to somehow get this to happen at this superpower. So it can literally go everywhere. It will go to other places by all means, but America will push back. 
that's the issue. So how do you get rid of America and those and those um, and the democracy and the ability to have these rights and these freedoms? Well, got to have a disaster, got to have something, got to stir up something, stir up the pot. And so when you use this just for travel and tourism, OK, you can use this for everywhere. And they tried to do this. They literally tried to do this a year and a half ago. And we all talked about it. And they were like, hey, if you don't have this, you're not able you're not able to go to places. But we I was already saying that because I could see it clearly. I could see it so clear that if, if you know, if I had my other, if I had my work phone on my work phone, you would have to have this this app and you have to scan it so you could get into locations. Um, I will do a video over um, over this again. Uh, it was a video I did a while back, maybe two years ago, over rapture dreams, end times dreams that the Lord had let me have. And he gave me a lot. And I haven't had one in quite a while. But one of them was about a dream where um, I was not able to go to restrooms in certain places. And people who saw me looked at me weird because I didn't have a certain thing on me. And it was, I didn't have the mark of the beast. I didn't have this thing. And they were like enemies against me. And then when I would try to go into certain locations, they had like, um, they had like, uh, what is it? What is it? What am I trying to say? They had uh, like metal detectors or whatever. And so it was like something you had to walk through or bypass to check to see if you were good to go. And it, it, yeah, I'll tell you about it. I'll make another video over it again and I'll go through it because I have it written down on notes for, for myself that I, I did a while back because um, I, I felt like I needed to share it. But even more so, um, uh, I do believe the Lord speaks in dreams or anything like that gives us uh, a kind of an image of what's going to come. Not necessarily the exact same thing, but uh, uh, a situation that looks like this, that operates like this. OK, let's continue. Bloomberg reported tourism ministers from several countries has backed the use of VPPs last year in effort to boost international travel after the blank, the blank IMIC tanked the tourism industry. The group said it was essential for speeding up global economic recovery efforts. That's right there. Global economic recovery efforts. That's that's why. But the move is raising concerns among critics who worry about government overreach and rights of individuals. I haven't reviewed this article, so this is fresh off the press for me. I even though I know this was this came up uh, two days ago. What today's the twenty third? So yesterday. Um, it says the world leaders Bali Declaration included section uh, section dot two three on facilitating seamless international travel. The impact would be vast because the G twenty countries compromise. Are, excuse me, comprise of 67% of the world's population. Uh, here is a tweet here from Wall Street Silver that says G20 to adopt Victor Papa Papa using the uh, White House Oscar. I'm just going to say it like that. Uh, or uh, Whiskey Harry Oscar standards. Let's have a, a digital Harry carry acknowledged by the whisker, Whiskey <laughs> Harry Oscar. If you have been victored or tested properly, then you can move around, said the Indonesian health uh, person who's in charge. Let's say it that way. And then it says, no thanks. And then it has clowns in the world, right? Because I, I I get it. You're, you're crazy. It's, it's, you're a clown. Like it's, you're joking, right? Like, no, I'm not. They're, they're most certainly not. Um, the agreement called for shared technical standards and verification methods, including Victor Papa Papa's. It also commits to support continuing, continued international dialogue and collaboration on the establishment of trusted global uh, uh, things that are digital, but I have bad health networks that should ca capitalize and build on the success of the existing standard and digital, the existing standard and digital these certs, these certs, okay? The, the, the C word certs, okay? Um, in a separate updated document, the G20 vows to endeavor to move towards interoperability, 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 goodness gracious, I can't say that, interoperability, operability, goodness, I can, I can say this word, interoperability, whatever, of systems, including mechanisms that validate proof of that, almost said it, almost said it, uh, proof of this, whilst respecting the sovereignty of national health policies, In interesting, hopefully that don't get dinged for that. And relevant national regulations such as personal data protection and data sharing. That's that's a that's a bunch of garbage. That is a bunch of garbage. Um, it has been proposed. It has been proposed that this digital hairy uh, things that are certificates would adhere to the whiskey hairy Oscar standards under the proposal only if a person has been this or tested according to those standards would they be able to travel internationally? So it's always by somebody else's standard, right? And so we've seen that where they're trying to uh, make a um a like a one world order a one world government a one world currency a one world religion a one world leader right a beast system that becomes global macron which i'll probably do another video on anyways macron called for a single world order there's an article over it i'll do a video on it i'm mentioning now and it's it, it'll be good for people to know um 
But I read this and I, I, I told people this. I said, look, this is what's going to happen. Something is going to happen here where you can't move. Now, when this happens here and it's like, hey, digital systems go down, uh, economic systems go down. We have no way of knowing. We need to put something inside of people because let's say the grid goes down. We need to make sure that we can be able to verify who you are physically, right? That you cannot get away with moving in and out of places. You can't buy certain things. We could have uh, people who are coming in from other nations, right? We're going to brand people, right? If we put a brand on somebody, right? That's what that's what scripture says. It is karagma. It is an etching or a scratching on the skin. This is my right hand. Uh, on the skin. And so when I see that, I'm like, man, this is this is huge, okay? Because I've seen this. I've, I have I mean, this was back in 2020. We started talking about this. Um, and it's just like, okay, you know, you get to these, these countries, 20 countries who want to do this. And it's like, it's just for travel and tourism. Yeah, but it never stops there. And that's what I keep trying to tell you guys. It never stops there. The wicked will do more wicked, right? And the wicked seems like it's doing something good. It's less wicked than what it, what it really is. But it's actually implementing the wickedness they want to do, right? And so we'll just go along with it because we want to have safety and security. When they say peace and safety and the sudden destruction comes upon them as the veil of upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. So if that's the case... We move in this safety and security. I do it too. You lock your doors at night, right? You shut your windows, make sure they're locked. You have your gun in your house or whatever, whatever weapons you have in case somebody breaks in. You have a fight or flight response. Somebody broke into my house. I have my wife and my son in here. Oh my gosh, I would I would probably become another person and I would probably tear somebody to shreds because that's that's what I'm protecting. Majority of London's running, you're just going crazy. There's something about safety and security. So when you can you can when you can prey on the fears of safety and security for people about their loved ones, their children, feeding people, world disasters, nation gets nation, kingdom gets kingdom, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, apostasy, calling love of many to grow cold, or lawlessness causing the love of many to grow cold. Um it's it's easy to to people fear death. They do. People just fear death. It's natural. It's natural to fear that you die because you just don't know what's the what is coming after. We do by the grace of God that we know we'll be with be in heaven because of the, the Lord Jesus and His blood that covers all of our sins, past, present, and future for all of eternity. Because He is God. Um, but people who don't know that, that you're going to operate this way. I've got to protect me. All right. I'm not going to live as long as I can. I'm trying to trying to have transhumanism so I can live forever. Implant this, implant this. You know, I don't want any viruses. If I move to a different planet, if I just siloed myself, I put myself in a bubble, or if I had these, these things that I could know what, what kind of, what's your situation? What do you have? Are you up to date? Okay, and then you know what? We're moving away from that because something happened, or we have something better because the antichrist has come. Now we're just going to brand it on you. We're going to put it inside of you so we can we can keep track of what you're doing. Social credit scoring, all this stuff. This is this is like a crescendo of things I'm talking about and I've been talking about. And so. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I'm going to stop it here. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know where you think this is going and how it's going to tie into more end time scripture. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, let me tell you one thing that if you need to, this is the perfect time to plant a seed. And this is the perfect time to receive the Lord like today, right now, if you're watching this video, uh, whether it's uh, a second from now, minutes from now, a month from now, whatever. Um, because hard times, I can't even express, they're not hard times. They're they're beyond terrible times are coming. God's wrath is coming. And if you're on the opposite side of that, the receiving end of that, it is going to be not even a, it's going to, it's not going to be your worst day. It's going to be a bad day, but your worst day is going to be right after that when you succumb to the wrath of God and you are in hell. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 for, uh, for um, uh, salvation is a gift of God, lest no one should boast, right? Um, it is by grace through faith in Christ, uh, the, the gospel starts Corinthians 15, one through five, or excuse me, one through four, if you, uh, excuse me, Romans 10, uh, nine through 10. Uh, if you confess your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Well, by believing in your heart, you have been justified and by confession unto salvation, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is what I'm talking about. This is so true. Things are coming that are beyond your imagination that just seem like there's something on, on a, on a TV screen, right? It's something you've seen in the movie and it's just not true. It is like those things are going to happen. And when you and when you continue to think they're not, look at what we're looking at right now. Okay. If you don't think people are evil and wicked and you think they're just like trying to help, no, that's that is that's just the lesser of evil they're showing you on the surface. And what's below what's below that is is far wicked that demonic beings are inside of people, spirits are inside of people, fallen angels are moving, okay? Things are happening, and they are they will be terrifying to the unbeliever. But to the believer, we know that the time is coming. We know who wins and we know who's coming. And he is to be most feared. God's holiness is, is more terrifying than any demon, any, any, any angel, 
any anything that you can ever imagine. God's holiness is more terrifying. If you are not on the right side of heaven, on the right side of your salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to give your life to Christ today. Okay, guys, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you in the next one.